human trafficking is the scourge of modern slavery. Too often we think that human trafficking is something that happens in remote corners of the developing world. The truth is it happens in our own communities and sometimes it happens right next door. According to Statistics Canada, we've seen an alarming increase in the number of uh, reported human trafficking incidents in recent years uh, happening uh, all across Canada and Alberta has the third highest reported incidence of human trafficking in the country after Ontario and Quebec. But experts believe that the number of people who are trafficked in this country is massively underreported, precisely because they uh, are in a uh, controlled situation where they're manipulated by their traffickers and are unable to escape and to speak out. And many, once they do escape, are, uh, feel a sense of embarrassment or shame and are unwilling to go to police or support service agencies to report their experience and to hold the traffickers to account. And so today uh, I am unveiling the United Conservative Action Plan to fight human trafficking. And so today I'm committing that if elected, a United Conservative government will introduce an Alberta Action Plan to combat human trafficking, focused on the prevention of human trafficking, the protection of victims, the prosecution of offenders, and working in partnership with police, community groups, uh, the federal government, and others. Human trafficking starts in Canada, it stays in Canada, over 90% of the victims are Canadian born, yes. and it involves the recruitment, the transportation, the harboring, and the control of a person for sexual exploitation or forced labor. Mm -hmm. um, it's a deplorable crime. It has no place anywhere, not in Ontario and not in Alberta, not in Canada. Victims are mostly girls averaging the age of 14 years old, some as young as 11. They are our girls next door, yes. and they need our help. Yes. It's an honor and a privilege uh, to be fighting alongside Jason and his team in combating human sex trafficking and human trafficking. And I know that uh, when he becomes the premier of the province of Alberta, we'll be moving forward with him to enforce laws that are the strictest that we can have in our provinces and our countries.